Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and as you can see today I'm taking a look at Cascadia. Beautiful Cascadia, really nice relaxing little tile game playing games and it even comes with a solo mode so I really thought okay let's give this one a try. And honestly there is not really one, just one solo mode in there. I would say it's at least two and I think one of those even comes with a lot of these challenges or scenarios and I'm taking a look at one of those scenarios here today and typically you always try to achieve a certain amount of points. Um, for example this very first scenario here would simply say okay you would need to score 80 points in order to be successful. There is a nice little map where you can also track down your successes um, really nicely done so you can kind of play this as a campaign but it's a very relaxing campaign you can do that you can beat it, you can not beat it, doesn't really matter too much as long as you beat a scenario, simply cross off your path and you can basically make it through Cascadia here, Cascadia region. Really nicely done. Uh, honestly, I didn't play the solo game before, I only played the multiplayer game. And anyway, I still not sure if I really should focus on the very core scenario here or if I should go to a, let's call it somewhere more advanced scenario here. So here pretty much it's the same scores for these things but you're using different scoring cards. So each of those things, each of those animals, so the bear and the deer and the salmon for example, they come with four different scoring cards and you can in theory mix and match them for a, for a multiplayer game. Now you can also do that for a solo game but if you really want to focus on those challenges here, those challenges or scenarios really tell you what um, scoring cards you are going for in order to score. That's why you have 80 points here with all A scoring cards here, you have 80 points for all B scoring cards, 80 points for all C scoring cards and um, yeah they are I think would say slightly more let's call it mm, difficult or more challenging to achieve let's say high scores or higher scores with the C cards compared to the A cards here for example but they don't really come with any extra rules in that regard. So I was thinking about maybe let's go for a scenario where you we are basically introducing a really core requirement and that's scenario 5. First of all we need to go with 85 points and we have a mix of scoring cards here which I actually do like a lot and on top of this we also need to make sure we are fulfilling this goal here which basically says score the fox three times but you need to score the maximum points with that card and in this scenario we are going with scoring card B and this means we have to score pass around the fox three pass. So for each fox or at least for three foxes in this scenario we need three pass. Those pass do not need to be next to each other necessarily. So we have these two bears, we have two salmons but they don't need to be next to each other. And again if we manage to do that three times we will score 21 points. So basically for three pairs that's seven points um, and we need to do that three times. And yes of course you are looking at the German version of the game but for the most part the game is really language independent. Yes there is some explanation on how to score those cards but believe me um, that I'm going to play this correctly. And those are basically the, the five scoring cards. So the bear, the deer, the salmon, I think that's the hawk and that's the fox in this case. So here we want a basically group of bears, here we want circles with those deers, here we want a small chain with the salmon, here we need hawks. Hawks typically tend to be, they want to be alone but in this scenario with the scenario sheet or scoring card B they still want to have a line of sight. So in a straight line um, there can be other um, animals in between but there must not be any other um, basically hawks in, in the line of sight in this case. And we are, we are scoring this from hawk to hawk and then yes I already ex explained the fox in this scenario. And keep in mind there are four different scoring cards for each of those animals and basically in combination how the tiles come out the game is really replayable I would say almost indefinitely. I have already prepared the let's call it Game Boy toy in this case so we are basically drawn randomly one of those starter tiles so that's three hexes glued next to each other and I also brought out four of those landscape tiles and next to each other pretty much um, one animal to this one. This was a really extremely lucky draw for this scenario and I promise you I was not cheating here. You can have my word and if you follow some of my other playthroughs you will notice 
that I lose way more often than I win these scenarios. And again, I did not cheat here. I'm totally fine losing on camera and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to embarrass myself in front of an audience. And I already prepared um, the main stack. So I think there is a ton of these landscape tiles out there. We are sim kind of simulating a two player game here. And in this scenario, we also have set up the game for a two player game, which means we are starting with 43 of those landscape tiles totally randomly. I have no clue what's in the deck. In respect to scoring, again, we will score those animals, but we will also score the largest landscape in our, let's say, play area here. So really a ton of fun, a ton of crunchy decisions to make. And I think with that being said, let's get started because the game is fairly, fairly simple. What you do during your turn is you take one of those tiles, you take the corresponding animal. So by default, I cannot take this tile and this animal unless I'm spending one of those, I think, nature tokens in here. Right now, I don't start with any of those. I can also spend those tokens to remove any amount of animals and redraw them. There are also special rules in respect to, uh, I don't know what it is, I think, crowding or so. I don't know, overpopulation, overpopulation that is, um, which is not the case. So if you have three, at least three of the same animals in front of you, you can choose to refresh the row of animals and only the animals. If you have four of the same animals, you have to do that. In this case, that's not something I'm going to do and I can't do, but in I, I think that's perfectly fair to go pretty much with this combination of tiles here. So I'm going with this tile, I'm going with this animal. The tile I always have to lay and there is literally no really tile laying rules other than you have to place your tile next to um, basically an existing tile. In this case, this would be fully legal. This is not legal, this is legal, this is legal. So there are, you don't have to really obey by the same landscape rules here, for example, you can place whatever you want. But as I mentioned, you're, as you're also scoring your largest landscape towards the end of the game, for each of the landscape um, things there are on, so I will score the forest, I will score the water, I will score the mountains, the desert and this marshland, I believe. Um, so there, I definitely do have an interest um, laying similar um, landscape types next to each other in this case. Then I have to place, or if I can, I have to place the animal and it needs to go to a matching animal tile. So in this case, I have a fox here, I have the deer. On this tile, I can place a salmon, a fox here. I can play three of those, but each landscape can only t um, take one animal. So if I lay one here, which, uh, which I cannot do, which I lay one here, then no other animal can go there, even though it shows a salmon here. In this case, it also shows the landscape token. And should I start here? I mean, there is a good reason to go for this tile here. And I tell you why, because I already have two, um, let's say, animals that are next to each other. And a fox wants pairs of animals around it. So maybe two deer and maybe even two hogs or whatever. But again, they don't need to be next to each other necessarily. And right now my offering doesn't show any deers. So I guess I'm still better off going with a fox in here. And because it has this nature token, I get one of those. That's either a victory point at the end of the game, never a bad thing, or again, I can use it to, yeah, again, take a different combination of animal and landscape tile, or I can flush the animals out. But for now, I will totally hold on to this. And that's pretty much my turn. Then I'm simulating the second player who is always taking the rightmost combination of tiles and animals. In this case, those are those. And unlike in the multiplayer game, in a, in a solo game, we are definitely moving the others to the right. So new combinations are being revealed here. So we are doing this. We are doing that in this case, and I will always fill up from basically right to left in this case. So here's another fox, which I don't know if that's useful. And here we have a salmon, which could definitely make sense. And that's basically already an entire round. Again, the, the AI, or there is no real AI, the other players only here to remove the rightmost combination of animal and landscape type. And that's part of the puzzle, I think, because that's something that you can foresee. So playing this game solo is really an even more puzzle aspect than the normal multiplayer game. And then, yeah, it's basically back to me. And we are doing this 20 times and then the game is over and we are telling up our score and hope for the best that we were able to achieve our goals. Okay, again, we want to go with pairs next to each other. And 
honestly, there is a good combination of a salmon and a salmon here, which we could in theory place quite nicely. So the bear could be okay, but I think the salmon actually works pretty well. And the salmon wants to be in a chain. I think I showed you the scoring cards here. The longer the chain is, the more points I will score, but each salmon can only be adjacent to two other salmons. That's basically how a chain is being defined here. So now let's grab this tile. I think we are going to place it like this. So we might want to extend this desert zone a little bit. I have no clue how this salmon made it to the desert here, but okay. And we have to go with the salmon here. There's no need right now to spend our nature token here already. And we get to make a choice if we want to lay it here, if we want to lay it here. Again, probability is that we will see more salmon to a river region. Again, we want also with a chain, so we can already start forming a chain. So I think, as we do not want to place a fox here anyway, because a fox doesn't need to be, or one doesn't want to be adjacent to another fox in order to score well, I think think we are going with a salmon in here. I think that makes perfect sense. Again, that's already the end of our turn. Let's remove the animal. Let's remove the tile. We are moving this all one to the right. One goes here, one goes here. Doesn't really matter from which tower I take those. Oh, more salmon. And that's the first deer. And oh, that's the first hawk. Again, they, the hawks can score extremely well in this game, actually, but sometimes not so easy to get hold of them. And that's my mm, experience with the game. It's very balanced. So no matter what strategy you're following, the scores, at least that's how I observed it, were always relatively close to each other. And that's always something which I like because it really seems that this game is well balanced. Okay then, there is a good reason to go for this deer here because we could place the deer here and in theory we could also place the deer in here so it gives us some more option which I really like in this case. So yeah we are going for this combination. No, what am I talking about? Yes we are going for this combination of course. No, no, that's that's correct. Again this tile has to be placed and oof, there is now hmm, a good reason to go for this to have the second salmon next to us, maybe. Or we can really work on pretty much extending our salmon chain down here, because again, this could be around this corner to score the maximum amount of points. And having three salmons in a row, that could be already nine points. And what did I need? Was it 85? Yes, 85 points for this scenario. So we also have to achieve the scoring, not just this goal for this fox, but that's the really puzzle part, which I absolutely love. It's not just going after the points, there is really an actual goal to achieve, because otherwise we will utterly lose the game. And again, Again, I think I will place the deer in here. That's another nature token, but again, that could also be a tool for later on. And yeah, we have to remember that these deer, they want to be in a circular pattern here in order to score well up to 21 points, which is quite a lot actually. So having another deer here would be serve basically both of our goals. Oh yeah, I like that. So again, we are removing another bear and another tile. This moves to the right. We are bringing out some more, a hawk. Oh, more desert. And that's really, <laughs> this salmon in the desert, that's really weird. Okay, that's another hawk and another bear. Mm, okay, now I really do have to think think about it. And I mean, we need to do this three more times for the foxes. So that's really a challenging piece. But again, if we do that three times, that's 21 points. So that's nearly one quarter of the game in respect to the 85 points we also need to score. So I guess we may want to go with another fox because that's also a nice combination of a fox we need it. Yeah, we have to start that. The question is, where would we place it in order to make sense? So we grab that one for sure. Again, we cannot place it here and place the fox. Then I think this doesn't really help us. Of course, we could place the tile. No, then we have to place it. Only if we cannot place it, I believe, are we allowed to remove the animal. So I think this doesn't really help us. So again, I'm not sure if that's our best bet for now. 
but it will be gone if we are not taking it. And that's really something we know that the AI quote unquote will grab that tile. Maybe now it is time to go with one of those nature tokens, basically going for this tile and another animal maybe. Which animal would we go for? Maybe the hawk? That's really not the best one. Or should we simply go for this here and place the bear somewhere? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, we already have lost another fox here. That's really a problem. I have to pay attention. And again, I don't know the distribution of those tiles here. We could have by whatever shuffling, we have whatever shuffled out a lot of these foxes out of the stack. So this could be a problem. But on the other hand, we could... Oh no, that's that would work actually. No, let's, let's not do that. Of course we have... I was not paying attention here. We can still place this one here. It's still extending the forest. So that's one, two, three points. And I think we are also getting, um, if we normally what you do in a multiplayer game, you also compare each of those terrain types with your fellow players. And whoever has the largest in one gets extra points. And in this case, you get, I think, two bonus points if you have a landscape of seven or more in this case. So that's definitely worth it. So yeah, let's totally go for the fox in here and that's that's totally fine this this deer can be shared by both of those but of course we also need now a combination of things so another deer in here would definitely help us for sure but no i think that was the best we could do out of the situation so let's remove those we will slide those over two more are coming out here's another fox that's good Let's see, that's another hawk and that's another bear. And yeah, that's a constellation. Again, I cannot do anything about this unless I'm willing to spend one of those nature tiles here. But maybe that's not a bad thing. I mean, the bears are all just fine. I mean, a bear, a one bear is two points, a two bear is five points and an eight bear is eight points. And I also get three points for, yeah, if I have all three of those two. And again, as we do have a lot of bears out there, I think there's something to be done. The problem is, ideally, I also want to start working towards the ring form here for those deer. So that's a perfect thing. So maybe I want to go with one of those hawk tiles here. Maybe that's the better thing. And this would work for the landscape too. Which one would be the better? Do we want to extend? Hmm, this could give us another low. Let's go for this here. And we are going for the hawk, which we are going to place in here. Because again, we can still do this one here around. On the other hand, we could also place this one here. It doesn't really matter too much. But ultimately, I'm cutting myself off because they're literally the same times tiles. So I think it doesn't really matter. Let's place it here because ah, that's also nice because that's a direct line actually. Okay, let's not worry about that too much. So this is a way, this is typically a bad thing. We want to hold on to those single landscape tiles because they come with those landscape tokens and the game is usually moving very well and that's a perfect one. I, I really need this one. Another hawk and what do we have? A deer. Hmm, the deer is actually nice. So I think I may really want to start using those tiles. We need another fox anyway again, right? And the, but I also want this deer. I mean, that's a, also a pretty cool combination, actually. It's another deer which we could place around. And we are losing again one of those, which is not great. And this will stay around. That's the good piece around that. So I guess let's not... Let's go for this combination. So we can definitely extend our forest here. One, two, three, four, which is good. Again, we want to reach seven or more in any or in every of those landscapes to score some extra points, but that's still four points on their own. And if we place this one here, and we could start placing or we could start working towards this ring here. Same would be true here, but again, the I think this 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 hawk here doesn't really help us at this point in time. So I guess let's leave it there for now. And again, that's already part of a ring. Um, it's only two right now. And let's say a two ring is already worth two point, uh, five points for that. So not nothing for sure. Let's remove some more things here. Let's bring out the 
tiles, another fox, and this is a huge cloth bag of animal tiles. And you never remove those animal tiles, you only do the, let's say, player balancing or the sizing of the game in respect to those landscape tiles. And here we have another fox, so this combination here could be pretty nice. Right now I'm tempted to go with this tile and this fox here. Again, we have to do that three more times. And I'm relatively certain that the sooner I start this, the better I can plan for those animals. So here we already have two of those. And that was my mistake, of course. I will not be able to create a larger ring because here we need additional animals, other animals, because again, we only need, or we want three pairs. And we have six edges around this fox here. So I think I will not score a lot of points with those deer, at least not for this fox. So that was already a very stupid decision on my part, but that's when you play this scenario for the first time. At least I typically tend to miss these things. But I still think let's spend the nature token here to go with this fox tile and this fox fox here again. That's legal because I spend it and I think that's definitely a good thing. Let's place it I guess in here because ultimately I'm planning to have two salmons here which would work for both of those foxes. So yeah let's do that like this and for that we are getting another nature token back because we covered one of those single landscape with the matching animals on there. Awesome! Then we are still removing the rightmost animals and from what I understand new pairs will form um, out of this. And something similar would happen in a multiplayer game because you're only partially refreshing those offerings. So I think I'd get that. It's a bear and another fox. Let's see what animals. Another fox. Uh, I don't know if we need more foxes now. I think we are all set. But having this bear here could be beneficial because the bear could fit in here relatively nicely and he would have another salmon too which could help us. It's not great but it's okay or it could also extend our forest but then either or neither a salmon or a fox would help us there. Can we do something with the hawk? Not if we really want to maximize our scoring with the salmon, but maybe that's another lost cause. I don't know. Can this bear and this fox? Yeah, we would basically, we are not able to place this fox. In this case, we would simply discard that one. So I guess we are definitely going with a bear. The question is, do we, are we going to spend one of those? Or maybe going for this? This combination could work fine actually too, giving us one back and would also extend this. Huh, maybe that's not a bad idea because we would give it back or we would get it back. No, I th think we are okay. Let's go for this bear and this tile. The tile is not great right now, but I think I do want the bear here. And I could now really decide if I want to simply extend this landscape down here just to have the fish, for example, because this another fox here wouldn't really help us. On the other hand, we also need something for this fox here, which we haven't really touched yet. But no, I think that is okay on its own. Let's leave that. But then again, I have no clue how good or bad I'm doing. I'm really playing just for playing sake. Let's bring out some more tiles. That's a deer. Is a deer good for us right now? Maybe, maybe. And another salmon. Okay. I kind of like this deer here because it would fit very nicely into this thing here again for this fox and on its own it's still two points. Even if it's only individual deers it would still scores and again we can score each group of these animals so that's a group if this is a one single one that's a sm very small group so that could be still some points question again is do we want to go with this tile or are we going with something else is there really another tile which i definitely do need again this is not bad to pretty much score some points later on it will allow us to extend our thing, but this is also good because again, it gives us the extended forest, which we are also looking for. So maybe let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go for this combination. This goes in here, just as it is. 
and this bear we need more animals around both of those anyway so oh no here we need no no oh okay maybe okay let's let's hold back for a second i see that now here i really wanted to have the salmon because here I also wanted the salmon so maybe we do want to go for the salmon instead to place it here and then go for i don't know this one here which could be a bear or another deer actually because this deer again will serve no but we don't get it no but i still like this let's go for this let's go for this so this goes in here and this i think goes in here because that's this wetland marshland here um, which can also score us some points that's right now three points which again is not a bad thing and gives us some option for this fox here most likely not um a salmon but could be maybe another deer which we could place in here for these two groups so yeah i think i like that and sorry for my thinking out loud but that's again how i play these games on my channel let's bring out two more tiles let's bring out some more animals and deer i think that's okay and another salmon okay I like my choices here. Okay, I think I re really want the salmon because it fits so nicely in here. But right now I'm not sure if I like this one here. So I'm tempted to go for either this or that tile in here actually. Because I want a forest to extend my forest space up here. It could be a bear. A bear could serve both of those, right? So I will spend one of those for sure. And then I will go for, oof, does it matter too much actually? That's the question. Because they have two salmon, they have two salmon. That's fine. So I think I will go for this and that. So this goes in here. So that's a nice chain of three salmon, which we could even extend further down. And again, that's nine point on its own. Nice. So and then we have this forest tile, which we may want to do like... Hmm, this maybe because again this could enable us for a larger mountain range it's option so i think that's still fair enough and we can start placing bears next to both of those but which would then ultimately mean a bear has to go in here that much is clear but i think i like that then the rightmost animal and the rightmost tile that's how I understand it. So this moves down, this moves down, this moves down, this moves down. I really hope I did understand this right. It's another fox, which I couldn't care less about. And that's a deer on its own. Okay, that's not bad. And another salmon. Now these are now some really strange options. Of course, I can have more than three foxes. It only says the minimum is three foxes which I need to score the maximum. So I could start whatever placing another fox down here for example and hope for more salmon. That's still some more points if again if I feel that this one is great but I do like those landscapes here. Ooh, that's now a very tricky one. I definitely do like the salmon. Maybe that's okay too actually. Maybe that's not a bad tile at all. Maybe to place down here we could place it here maybe later on with this with another combination or we could simply say because again this fox now also needs at least one more or exactly one more deer here we could place it here but then it wouldn't basically break our forest right now we had one two three four five so we need two more forest spaces to score the bonus point so i think let's go for that let's go for the salmon let's go for this one here again this could give us some more stuff later on we are placing the salmon in here, which again extends the chain. And when you look at it, four salmon in a chain, that's 11 points. Nice. Let's remove the rightmost stuff. We are moving into the second thing. And this yellow blue, I don't know. <laughs> that's a coincidence, but yeah, I guess you know where I'm coming from. And that's another. Uh, I really need some bears i really need at least two more bears. i think three more bears actually because here we need one more bear here we basically now need a bear but basically two for both ideally we get another bear in here no here now then we need two more for those individually no i cannot change it at all so what are we going to do 
This combination here isn't bad because again we still have a third fox to complete and yeah I don't want to spend because we still have options and I want to hold on to my very last nature token when we are moving into a situation which is really bad. But the salmon here could also work actually. So this one here, ah, but no we want this salmon so this could in fact work still work for us that's again moving from 11 to 17 points at the six point swing and hopefully we could get a bear out of this but this again is also not terrible because yeah we need more deer next and we need a third animal there anyway no let's go for this combination um this definitely goes in here just extending oh we could do it no let's do it like i don't know hmm. let's do it like Let's do it like this. This this helps us for the for the later thing. And I think this animal Oh no. Oh no, this doesn't work. If I do that, then I don't have because we need a bear and then now oh, okay, this doesn't work actually. I mean, I can still place it. We could still play maybe here. No, this also doesn't work here. Then we would need Oh. Maybe here. Maybe here for the mm, the hawk. Again, that's not a direct line. We would need the hawk in here, but I cannot place it here because then I need a hawk. Next, another hawk in here, and then the hawk wouldn't work. Oh boy. No, that doesn't work actually. <laughs> I really like the puzzly aspect of this game. No, I think we have to move that back. I think we have to go with the plan A here. Yeah, let's do that. And I guess we are doing, hmm, that's the question. Should we do it like this? Because this would give us potentially a possibility later on to extend the desert here. And then we would place this salmon here. And that's now the maximum we can get for this chain of salmon, which again is 17 points in total. So that's not nothing. But yeah, that's our round. Let's remove some stuff. Let's move everything down, bring out two more tiles and oh, another fox. Come on, we need a bear. Oh, we have three of the same though. That's now the overpopulation. It's our turn and yes, we will totally do that. So we are removing all four of those. Before we put them back into the bag, we get to draw. So the likelihood that we see more foxes is at least a little bit decreased. That's a salmon. That's another hawk. Uh, that's deer, we need a bear and another deer. Now we are putting these back into the back as well. And now that's our choice. And this may not be our worst choice here right now. It's not a bear right now, but we can still place this deer now in here. That was our idea to maybe start having another one, but the bear here would be better but we could also place the bear in here but we need a bear in here too so that's definitely a risk but we want some more I think we will go for this combination and even though I think this this mountain range is pretty much lost and we can extend maybe a mountain range here and I think again we are placing this deer onto this tile there so we definitely for this fox we need now yeah we have salmon we don't want hawks, we want deer, and maybe another bear or so. That wouldn't be bad. But okay, let's remove stuff. We are moving this over. Let's bring out two more tiles. That's another bear, another bear. Okay, I like this a lot. That's a bear, oh yes, oh yes, and another hawk. So I guess in this case, there is literally no question that we are going with this combination because yeah that's pretty perfect so i guess hmm, we could now really make this one here and i guess just to make things clear we want to do this right 
I mean, we still have one, so I think there is no rush. I mean, we could place it now like this now, because here it's really clear that we are doing this, and it gives us one more nature token right away. So it gives us some more flexibility for future turns. I think that's the better deal for now. Yeah, and then we need two more animals next to here. So this could be maybe salmon again. Maybe we do have to go for hawks in this case and simply ignore the scoring for those hawks. Yeah, I think so, because we cannot go for foxes. Bears is now gone. We have the deer. Yeah, I think it's either salmon or the hawk. Those foxes in this scenario are really difficult, but I like that. That's crunchy. Okay, another fox and another salmon. That's good. That's good. It's something to work with. And here we do have a salmon. Hmm. And we have another hawk. And ooh, okay, that's now an interesting one. I mean, I like this one here for the landscape, but I want the landscape somewhere over here, which wouldn't help us really. We could also simply go for this. No, we can't because we don't have a space for the salmon right now. But having this fox with what else? Oh boy. And we cannot even place the hawk right now. That's our problem. We really need, uh, we really need a bear actually, or so for now. It would buy us some time, or we could go. But even the combination, I mean, this and that together could help us. Maybe that's something we should consider, because otherwise I cannot. Yeah, let's go for. The, we are spending this. We are going for this salmon and this landscape here. Kind of wasteful, but we are doing it anyway. So again, we need two salmon now next to this fox in order to score the maximum. So we are placing the salmon in here, which gives us one more landscape. Ah, the, I think nature token back, right? So this moves down. We already know that. This moves here. We are going in there. And then, oops, can't see that. Apologies for that. One. Uh, another fox. Oof, a lot of foxes actually. And here is a fox. I mean, having the fox on a fox. Oof, okay, now that's a very tough one. Oof. I think here we really have to consider. I mean, the landscape is really not great. But even getting rid of the animals now doesn't help me because then we really desperately need to hope for a bear, for example, to appear. And then we still, and then ideally we get the bear here. And if the bear goes in there, oof, that's really tough now. That's a tough spot. Of course, we could simply go for this combination here, which we could use to, I don't know, extend our desert here. Though that's not bad at all. On the other hand, we could also go for another hog now. And I'm thinking about this combination here, which we could place, for example, like this, or maybe like this, and place the hog in here. And then, yeah, these two guys see each other. And that could be um, basically five points already because we have two hogs who are seeing each other. Hmm. And there are no hogs in between. Other animals can there, can be, can there be? Yeah, let's leave that actually. But I may have to use a nature token relatively soon again. So one, and one, okay, okay. That's the bear combination. I think that's a pretty cool one. And another fox. Again, I have the choice if I want to get rid of it or not, but this bear here is pretty amazing. Maybe not the right landscape time, but we definitely do want the bear for sure. Yeah, let's, maybe we go with another one. That's a potential thing. Maybe we do want to spend maybe another deer, which we would need actually. Hmm, well that's, that's an interesting point. We could go for this combination here because this would allow us to place another deer. I like that. So yeah, let's spend one of those. But that's another bear, which we could need, right? Let's see. And we also, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take this and place it here, this would be our seventh forest tile, actually. And this bear could serve this one here. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty perfect. Let's do that, actually. Let's totally do that. And yeah, does it matter too much where we're placing it right now? Here to make sure or here to make sure too, so that I'm not placing something else. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's, let's leave that. Cool. Let's remove those things. 
let's move everything over. We are really coming closer to the end of the game now. That's the sound. Oh, we need the salmon, but we don't have the place to play. Oh, now that's a terrible choice, actually. That's really very, very bad. I mean, we could go for the hawk and maybe this tile here. What do we need? We need another deer, right? So we, we don't really need the hawk, but I don't do want the salmon. So I think I have to spend now this to get rid of those three. Yeah, I think we want the salmon for sure. Again, I will start here. Oh, another hawk. Oh, come on. That's it. Okay, that's, that's, I think that's good. That's good. And another hawk. Okay. Can we live with that combination here? I think we actually can. Yeah, let's go for this because I think we can place, I don't know, this one here because this could be a line of sight to this one, for example, also for this one. But right now, I think that you still need a landscape beneath it. And yeah, this thing goes in here, right? That's the second one. So we need, and then we need oval, I think. Oh, that's awfully close now. Maybe, mm, maybe we do have to, if we place now two hawks in here, this would kill this one. What do we need here? Actually, a bear and a bear. Yeah, here we need a bear for sure. And here we need, what do we need? Another bear actually, a bear. Yeah, we need a bear and a deer here. Ooh, okay, I think mm, that's, I, I don't think we are going to make it actually, because we don't have that many turns left. Okay, I would be rather disappointed if I would have won on my first go actually. So let's move everything over. Oh, no, let's bring out those things before. Oh, that's the salmon tile. We need that for sure. So now, oh, that's cool. Salmon next to salmon. So we don't even need to spend a nature token for that, which could be pretty great. So I guess let's do that, right? So we can complete this fox now here with this salmon. So this now really has three pairs around and those pairs are next to each other. So that's good. This fox is still missing a bear and this is then missing a bear and a deer. The good thing is we have a deer here. And it also comes with the right environment, which gives us one more nature token. Oh, wow. This will be an extremely close call. But yeah, we are losing this bear, which is also bad. But I really needed the salmon. But yeah, wow. I like how close this really feels. So nice. One and two. And now I'm not sure. Did I bring out enough of these things? Because... Oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, did I maybe miss one tile? Because I'm not going to fill up another one. And again, I should have 20 in my landscape. So maybe let's briefly count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, Minus a three starting tiles. That's 19. Oh, that's our last tile. Really? Maybe I did bring out one too many of those. Oh, that's terrible. I'm not going to win. For whatever reason, I thought we would still have two more tiles. I didn't really count this through. And we don't have a bear. So we need a tile and a bear and the tile needs uh, we have the deer here so that would in fact work actually but we are missing out on one of those things are you kidding me and yes i miscounted i think i may have one tile too many out there it should have been 23 did i forget to remove one at some point in time or so but i really recounted it again it's 22 tiles right now including the three starting tiles and you will end up with 23 in total. Again, including your three starting tiles, which are glued together. So that's not going to work. We are definitely going to lose this scenario here. Now that's really embarrassing and oof, it's awfully close, but I really didn't count this one through properly. It's tough. It's extremely tough. 
I really, I spent too much time on this one here. This shouldn't have done. Also, at least the fifth salmon down there was a problem. This one here too. Wow, I think, yeah, you have no time to waste in this scenario. Wow, and I mean, if I would have paid attention, I mean, yeah, three times eight, that's 18, uh, three times six, that's 18 tiles or animals you need around fox. Of course, we are sharing a lot of those already. So that worked out okay, but it's still so close. So yeah, I think let's at least try to do the best we can right now. So we are doing this and we are placing this. This gives us at least one more nature tile. But then again, we are still missing two bears. One bear for this fox and we need one bear for this fox in here. We have the tile for the thing, but yeah, even with that, it wouldn't have made... I mean, again, I could have taken this one for the extra bear and whatever placed maybe... Oh, but I then didn't, wouldn't have the deer anyway. No, I could have gone for this one actually for example, but yeah, it didn't really help us. No, I have, ooh, wow, that's tough. That's tough, but yeah, that's basically game over. And honestly, I do not need to count things through. I'm still curious how good or bad I did. So I guess let's do it anyway, right? So we will start with the bear scoring up here. So that's two points and that's five points. So we have seven points for bears. These are, let's bring it out. This is a very small ring, five points. That's another one, two points, nine. No, that's also five points, 10 plus two. That's 12 points for our deer. The salmon is pretty great. Again, we have the line here. Let's bring out the salmon scoring card accordingly. That's the maximum. That's 17 points. These are two more. That's four points in total. So that's 21 points for the salmon. That's not bad. Here we have a line of sight between two hawks. Let's also do that. That's unfortunately only five points. I take it. And this fox is basically the maximum it can take. It has three pairs. Um, different pairs basically of animals around it. So that's seven points here. Here this fox has two pairs of animals. That's still five points. And this one also has five. That's 12, uh, 10, 17 points in total for the foxes. Bringing us to 60 points two points in total and that's not bad i mean that's really a very competitive score at least i think but of course i really wasted my time next we are scoring our landscapes and i think the biggest mountain range is basically two so that's two points and we are not scoring any bonuses because only we're the seven plus then we are going for the forest and that's easily this one one two three four five six seven so that's seven points plus two points because we reached seven or more on this. Nice. The largest desert should be this one. That's four points. No bonus points whatsoever. I take it. Then we have the marshlands. That's three. Also no bonus points. And I think water is only either here to here to or here to. So that's two more points. Bringing us to 20 points in total. I think you must be kidding me. I think you must be kidding me because we have two more of those. That's two points. So that's 60, 82, 84 points in total. So we didn't even make it to 85 points. And of course, we were also not able to score the maximum points of our free foxes there. Are you kidding me? Wow, that was certainly a downer, but also I appreciate it. Again, I do not want to win this game with my very first go use, uh, playing the solo mode. And I already started with number five. I don't want to think about how things are with whatever scenario 15 or eight here, where you are not allowed to place animals next to each other and whatnot. So, wow, what a nice puzzly experience really 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 like this one here a lot and yeah that's pretty much how you play cascadia playing the solo mode of the game again really a very very nice experience and also in the multiplayer game such a smooth puzzly little game yes it has some mild ah, not really take that yes you can pick some combinations away from other players so 
pretty much doing some kind of hate drafting but that's not what this game is all about you want to build your little nature you want to make sure your animals are scoring well and that what this game so nicely represents a very very cool little i would think uh, let's say an advanced filler so for me really a nice nice little game and yeah totally totally like it a lot actually and yeah with that being said a huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there really do appreciate all your support if you want to support my little channel here you will find a link to my patreon patreon you can join me directly here on youtube definitely like and subscribe this also greatly helps so if you want to see me losing more of these games then yes you are totally at the right place because that's i typically what i do in these kind of videos but again I, I like these kind of games really nicely nicely done and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye